What are you doing here? Buffy, if you're going out, why don't you take your sister? Dawn was introduced as an idea way back in the third season. Faith, in the last episode of the third season, Graduation Day Part Two, uh, in a dream that Buffy had, uh, possibly a shared dream between she and Faith, Faith referenced a little Miss Muffet. There's something I'm supposed to be doing. Oh, yeah. Miles to go. Little Miss Muffet counting down from 730. We had set it up in the end of season three with Faith saying, you know, counting down from 730, which is two years exactly by the day. And that was my way of saying Little Miss Muffet obviously was Dawn. Faith and I just made that bed. For who? I think I need to go find the others. Be back before dawn. Dawn arrived in the first episode of the fifth season with um, a, a very, you know, heavy dialogue, emotional scene. My, my big moment was, Mom! The next episode right away, Dawn's character was explained as being Buffy's sister, and everyone kind of just imagined that Dawn was there. So Buffy, what are your plans today? <clears throat> oh, actually, Giles and I are gonna go to the magic shop for supplies for my new and improved training sessions. Well, that's great. Oh, yeah, I'm actually You can take Dawn shopping for her back-to-school supplies. No, but see, Mom. Dawn arriving really changed the dynamic of our relationship and created a different dynamic within the family, which was really interesting. I think Michelle being younger, I felt my focus oftentimes going to her and, you know, trusting and assuming that Buffy was going to be fine. You are my little pumpkin, Billy. Oh, Mom. Did you ever have any names for me? No, I think you were always just Buffy. You know that whole thing of you know, the older one can take care of themselves, so you depend on them and worry more about the younger one? Hey, kid. I'm not a kid. She was 14, um, so she'd been there for 14 years. As the season progressed, we realized that Buffy and Dawn were as much sisters as if the audience had known her from the first episode. Can I be president? I am president. You could be the janitor. Okay. A sisterly bond is something much stronger than anything. So basically, Dawn just, just wants to connect with Buffy and wants to try to understand, you know, her life and, and that's basically what happens. They they connect through through that. And of course it's revealed later in the storyline, you know, that the, the that the memories are implanted, so suddenly it's just everybody goes on as if it's always been there. Willow, hi. <laughs> hey Dawnie. How's my favorite chess partner? Still leading with your knight? Willow's the awesomest person. She's the only one I know who likes school as much as me. I believe Dawn is very close with, with Willow and, and Tara. Um, she's had a crush on Xander, and Anya's like the, the aunt, who you you know, you know love, but can get on your nerves sometimes. And, and so Dawn and Anya will have their moments. We are gonna have fun, fun, fun. Look, I've got Monopoly, Clue, and ooh, the game of life. Spike is the only person that doesn't treat Dawn as a child. He treats her as an equal. He may not tell her the stories that he will tell Anya and Xander and Willow, but he'll tell her exactly how it is and he won't, you know, sugarcoat it. Spike is like the older brother figure for Dawn so that you can have scenes where campfire uh, ghost stories being told by a real monster. <laughs> I mean, it's just beautiful. It's a great way to show that there's been a systemic change in Spike. And that, that's, that, that's, like, like, Dawn is the tastiest tidbit you can imagine, but now he would never touch her. He would never even think of scratching Dawn because she is a loved of Buffy. A whole number of beasties between here and there. But they'd really go for a little red riding hood like you. That wouldn't set too well with the big sister. And I think that the reason that Dawn, you know, goes over to Spike's crypt at all is because she doesn't know what an incredible villain he really is. She wasn't around when he was trying to kill everybody. He's only, she's only seen puppy dog Spike. Spike's totally into you. Oh, come on, you didn't notice. Buffy, Spike's completely in love with you. Dawn is the first one to figure out that uh, Spike has feelings for, for Buffy because um, basically he has not shielded anything from her. And Dawn is a very intelligent girl. She catches on quickly. She's not, you know, a little baby girl that's that's not, you know, kind of phased over everything. She knows exactly when she hears something and she's always thinking. I think what's brilliant about bringing in Dawn is that we say, yeah, 
Oh, she's always had a sister. You didn't know that? Yeah, she's always had a sister. And we just don't explain it at all. You've always had a sister. And then we go, well, you think you always had a sister because someone cast a magic spell. And in fact, she's the harbinger of the end of the world. Dawn was just um, a, a bundle of energy. And she was the key to the world. She was the key to mankind's survival because um, her energy and her blood opens this special portal, which can mean the end of the world. I've only been alive for six months, huh? You've been alive a lot longer than that to us. You don't know that. You don't know anything. I'm, I'm just a key, right? Everything about me is made up. When Dawn discovers she's the key, she burns her diaries because they represent something to her that is completely false. So the burning of the diaries is kind of symbolic of saying, my entire life has been not real, it's been a fake, it's been a lie. So by burning them, it's saying, I don't accept those lies and I have to find out what the, my true origin is. Don, listen to me. Listen. I love you. I will always love you. But this is the work that I have to do. When Buffy makes the ultimate sacrifice, Buffy tells Don, please, you have to be strong for me. And as much pain as Don is going through, she, she understands this. And this is almost her sister saying, you know, I love you very much. This isn't your fault. I have to do this, but know that I will always be with you. And so as sad as, as it may be, it's something that you know, Dawn has to accept and try to try to overcome. It's about accepting that family is a part of your life, even when you think of yourself as independent. And it's about the extraordinary love that a family can bring you. And we very much said, Buffy's love interest is going to be her sister for year five. Ultimately, I think that people, you know, embraced her as a character. It was tricky to introduce someone new to the Buffy universe. And some people were suspect of it as just sort of a gimmick. But it was never meant as that. It was really meant as a way to explore more issues, to keep the Buffy universe alive and growing.